So if you're boring like me, you may like to, you know, explore Windows, see exactly all the little options and settings you can adjust. And while doing exactly that recently, I stumbled upon a brand new feature, and that is GPU hardware accelerated scheduling. Ooh! And it promises to reduce latency and improve performance. Ooh! So of course, I turned it on right away and got to work investigating exactly what difference does it make. Because hey, if this is just free performance, why shouldn't everyone just turn it on? But firstly, what exactly is it? Well, as the name implies, it's scheduling the tasks and the instructions that need to be carried out on your CPU or elsewhere on your system. And it can either be done in software on your CPU or in hardware on your graphics card, which is generally a tad more efficient. So let's start off with something like Time Spy Extreme to see exactly what kind of differences it make. And hmm, okay, it's 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 literally almost the same. That's kind of disappointing. Maybe just try a benchmark. What about a game? You know, a, a game should work fine. So how about uh, Company of Heroes 2? There we go. And um, no, nothing. Okay, um, what about Shadow Tomb Raider? Well, yeah, about that. It refuses to launch in the hardware accelerated mode, which means I couldn't even check what it's like. So apparently, not only aren't you getting any performance improvements so far, but in fact some games are literally bugged and cannot be ran in this mode, which is great. So let's try one more thing, shall we? One last hurrah for this little feature, and let's see if it does anything in Rainbow Six Siege, and wouldn't you know it? Finally, a success! And look at this data! It's absolutely insane. Like in all other games, it does nothing, but in Rainbow Six Siege, it literally puts your PC on steroids. That like that is actually such an insane improvement, and I'm just kidding with you. It's it's nothing. The, the improvement is nothing. It, in reality, it's just nothing. Again. So at this point I was like, okay. Yeah, I, I give up. But why do your own research when you can just steal others? So I decided to go online and see what kind of results other people found. And thankfully, no, I'm not going crazy. Others report the exact same thing with pretty much no improvements, which kind of makes me feel better, but also just makes me confused. Like, why exactly is this setting even there? And apparently a Microsoft spokesperson said that, well, users are not supposed to see any substantial improvement. So what's the point? Or well, seeing how it was just released in the latest version of Windows 10, version 2004, it's very, very likely that it's just some kind of beta test of the feature, and it's just not optimized enough to really make a difference. Maybe there are some workloads that do benefit from it, but no one's testing to found them yet. And hopefully in time, Microsoft will be able to improve this feature until it actually finally makes a difference, and it's actually worth turning on. And thanks to telemetry, Microsoft will be able to take that data, see how it's performing on your PC, and maybe try to improve it further that way, which is always a great thing as well. So I guess that's it for this rather disappointing video, I was really hoping that this is gonna be some giant improvement, or at least any improvement, but no, sadly not. But you know what's less disappointing? Helping out my channel, because boy is it a good thing to do. So be a good scout and help out the channel, either by leaving a comment on your thoughts on this down in the comments below, checking out my Patreon down in the video description as even $1 month is a long way in helping out my channel, and maybe even join my Discord where you can talk to me or like this or whatever else really. And share this video wherever you can, it does also go a long way. Because man is this channel struggling for growth. Anyway, that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye.